Hello all, welcome back to Castle. Today we are going to discuss the penguin. Before I get into that, in case none of you have noticed, my mic's gone. But yet you can still hear me. And for those of you, there it is right there. I got a, my new mic stand come in and it has blown away my expectations. Hopefully this recording does well. Like I said, it's test in progress. That being said, let's get into it. This show is quickly becoming probably maybe even my top show, especially going right now. It's so well written, so well acted. Uh, Colin Fowle is just absolutely owning the role. I can appreciate the makeup, the effort, the his acting. He is going over and beyond. Uh, Selena Falcone is just... She's climbing on that hot, sexy list. Like, she's, she's at least at eight hot and that's not crazy. <laughs> she plays the role so well and she just has no fucks to give. Like they'll they'll obey me or I'll find another way. And it's just oh my anyway. I can't help say Chris crazy is attractive to me. Attractive to me. <laughs> but damn. Anyway the whole crew is just absolutely knocking it out of the park. The only, there's only two problems I have with it. Don't watch the after interview because if you do, you're going to be probably as disappointed as I am. Because <clears throat> it is, uh, it is extremely cringeworthy. That being said, I even Victor's even grown on me to the point to where. This was basically, no spoilers, this is just basically Victor's breaking bad moment. <laughs> he, he earns it, and I'm, I, you know, lots of respect to the actor. He's pulling it off, doing a very good job. And, uh, I mean, Batman, I mean, this literally could be a TV show on its own, just, just some recreation of a mob family made up and he's the guy that's trying to take both mob families down i mean it, you you wouldn't even really know it was a batman show if it didn't if it didn't have penguin in it and he, they have dropped batman's name a time or two if you're listening to it it's in the background usually done by the media but it's oh man I can't I can't there's this show has won me over and I fully fully say that this show could still shit the bed I hope it don't I think it's going to to land I I do believe it will but is there going to be more than one season I'm curious about this now because this episode I do believe Penguin kind of screwed up I'm getting that into just a second no spoilers. And it's, I'm more than willing to say this show is an 8 out of 10 for me right now. And it could climb higher than that. And everybody I know that's watching it really likes it. Now, the, the thing about Penguin and what's going on is he's trying to screw over basically everybody and, and wind up on top. And he's got so many irons in the fire, and he's also trying to put out other fires. And it's gotten, it's kind of got him in the bind in this third episode to where you're like, ooh, he done screwed up. And then you have a way of him getting bailed out. And I think, because there for a moment, him and Sophia's kind of having a, a touching moment, kind of a bonding moment. And I think he dropped the ball. Now, I'm not completely certain on that. I'm going to see what the next episode has. But it has me looking. I am really looking forward to the fourth episode. Just to see how. What happened and what was said. And what they did off camera. And they're going to show it in the next episode. Just brings the attention to that much higher. And you have probably one of the. Just to me. Sexy, one of the, I'm sorry, I have a weird taste. Female actor, uh, 
voice actress. She's been in Mass Effect. She's been in uh, a bunch of Bioware stuff. She has this real dark voice. I cannot remember her name. I gotta look it up. And she, oh, uh, when you you just hear her voice and you know, and she means business in this show, and it's just wow. <laughs> and she's got zero fucks to give. And I am dying to know what happens at the very, like, what, is it going to redeem itself or, or just what's going to happen? And uh, I, is it worth getting HBO to get, even though I really am enjoying this, I would wait to binge it, but that's just me. Because you're not, I'm telling you, this is a binge-worthy show. If you have HBO and you're not watching it, you're missing something good. I promise you. There again, I stand by this show could still shit to bed. And that's all I've got for it. Let me know what you guys think. <clears throat> Are you watching it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? There's no judgment here. Tell me why you don't like it. Tell me why you do. And I will see you guys <clears throat> next video.